Today I'm going to be making um, our trakirin cheese, uh, which is going to be an extra hard uh, cow's milk cheese. This is going to be a very dry, long age cheese, so I want to get as much moisture out of it as possible. So I will be cutting the curd down very fine to the size of, say, rice grains. With the higher moisture cheeses, like the blue cheese, I will cut very lightly, very little, and then I will stir very little. There are a lot of variables, the milk, the season, the weather, but you want to make sure that you have followed your recipe in terms of temperature, time, acidification, so you know if you've got all those ducks in a row, it's more likely that you're going to end up with a consistent product. The bulk of the work comes after today. It's the aging after and getting those conditions, you know, this cheese will go in there and then every day I will be in there cleaning, turning, testing. We have three maturing rooms, uh, one for the blue and two for the hard cheeses. This is the newest um, addition to the hard room. Uh, these came out of their brine bath on Sunday morning. This is the Banneher Bold and uh, it will stay in here for the next four or five months. Eventually it will begin to develop surface molds and yeast that will come to form its distinctive rind. Below here is our ash-coated dark mountain dusk, again a cow's milk cheese. And the cheeses will stay in here anywhere from four months to about a year.